Hey guys, it's Cugsley, and welcome back to another video. So it's been about 10 days since I've last made an update about my Bloodborne project that I'm trying to do here. And I thought, you know, I've done quite a bit, and so it'd be a good point to really show what I've done so far. So um, I'm gonna just jump right in because I've done so many takes of trying to figure out how to do this without wasting so much time. And I thought the best way is to just go right into it. So here we are. This is what I've made so far. Um, not much has changed in terms of aesthetic for um, s since last video. I've changed a smidge bit with uh, the design, including some uh, subsurface like coloring, right? Uh, just to make things look a bit more, um, I, I guess, rough, right? Like if I go over here, I can show it as well. I've added some shine to this railing, as well as again making it look a bit, I guess, more grainy, rougher, right? So I've done that, just aesthetic stuff, and if you notice, there's a puppet walking around following me very menacingly and very slowly at the same time. And this is Maria. So, as you can see, she's very, um, uh, f aesthetically bare, right? But I, I swear she works. Kind of. So she has three attacks so far that she can do. Uh, so she can do a uh, regular hit. Or a charge to t hit like that. She can do a thrust. Let's see which one she does. There's a thrust, and she can do a uh, fast attack. Fast, fast attack. That's not a fast attack, Maria. Fast attack. Maria, you're on. You're on video, Maria. Come on, do me instructions, Maria. No, do the one attack you haven't done yet. There we go. Fast attack. Woo. So <laughs> yeah. Um, that's what she can do so far. I've added her health bar, which does do, uh, which does move. So, lock-on system is a bit weird because it's a moving enemy. Uh, I'll figure it out. But if you shoot her, her health does go down just a little bit, right? I'm gonna make it to where when you hit her, her health goes down more and whatnot, you know, depending on what you do. Um, but this is what I've added so far. And I believe last video I showed off the um, the pads. So there is the visceral pad and then the uh, parry pad. And yeah. So I've added all this stuff in, and I'm also going to be posting this to a really new subreddit that just popped up, right? Um, because might as well explain this now, and for, the, uh, for those of you who are interested in this, you might find a lot of joy in it. Um, so there's this new subreddit called, was it, r slash Bloodborne Open or Open Bloodborne? Uh, one of those. And I'll probably link it in the description or something like that. I'll, I'll find out how to get it there. Um, I'll find out. Uh, point being is, before this... Um, there was a Bloodborne subreddit that has hundreds of thousands of, you know, um, people joined to it. And the thing with it is, it, it was very boring, right? You could only post text, and that was it. It has 217,000 members, but you can only post text. If you wanted to say, hey, I beat Rom, you know, you can't show the awesome video of, you know, you slaying Rom by hitting it, and it's just sitting there. No! You just had to say, Hey guys, let me um, give you an extremely detailed uh, orientation. Let me give you a very detailed document about every single hit I landed on ROM in this order through text. Nothing else. You want to see it? No. No, you can't. No. Yeah, that, that's it. And if you want to talk about um, something really funny, it's like, it, it's like, hey guys, you know, it's... Yeah, you know, there was this very funny thing. There was a box floating in midair. That's the funny thing, though. It, it it doesn't sound funny, but trust me, if you saw it, you'd know it was funny. But, haha, <laughs> you can't see it. You know, it's just that kind of stuff, and it was really bothering me because I'm like, yeah, you know, I really wish I we could see other stuff on the Bloodborne subreddit. And this genius fellow, um, if I can find it, I I really, really, I'm gonna type Bloodborne open. Yeah, here it is, Bloodborne open, with uh, 2,000 members. The genius who made this, you know, uh, same problem that he had, right? And they decided, I'm going to make a Bloodborne subreddit where you can post memes, pictures, videos, anything Bloodborne related. And I thought it'd be really cool to post this here. So guys, if you're if you're seeing this off of my YouTube channel, not off of that subreddit that you're going to be seeing that, that others will see this on, uh, go check it out because it's actually really cool. And it, I, I feel like it gives the community a little bit more of a breath in that sense. So yeah, um, and for those of you who are on the subreddit, I'm trying to cram so much information in such a little amount of time, I'm very sorry. But for those of you on here, I'm currently remaking a uh, Lady Maria boss fight, and I've just about finished remaking the character with the uh, Kirk Hammer. So, 
it's it's going pretty nicely. Um, animation wise, not the best, but it, it's a work in progress. Uh, as of right now, I'm just trying to get all the logic done for it. Um, combo stuff, like for example, it can tell if you're trying to combo or not. So if you press R1, you can just pause it, or you can do that and then stop, or you can do that and then stop. So point being is I have some stuff in here that can determine whether or not you're, which attack you're trying to do. You can uh, shoot, you can shoot while standing, you can roll and shoot, yeah, you can roll and attack, you can lock on, dodge backwards, which has its own different attacks for it, or dodge to the side, dodge to the left, right? Point being is I've tried to add in every single attack that I could in this game. And there's also a working health bar if you've noticed, so I'm going to heal there. And I'm trying to add in all this stuff and make this work. Currently, um, uh, for those of you not familiar with dreams, how this works is I only have a limited amount of space that I can make all this stuff in before the processing completely gives up, right? Before it says, no, you're not allowed to do that. That's too much in one scene. And currently, all of this only takes about 35% of the um, total processing I can have in a single dream, which is really good. Um, and I've added in all this stuff for this character. And I'm currently working on Lady Maria. So once she's done, that's going to be the entire game. Um, uh, I'm not making remaking all of Bloodborne, just buy the game, from software deserves the money. But if you want to play this fight on Dreams, then here it is, right? So I'm currently trying to remake it, at least to the best of my ability, and I hope you guys, I, I hope those of you just finding this are, are excited as I am, because this is going to be really cool. And I'm not going to stall this video anymore, I've tried making this video over 15 times. Not not because it was difficult, just because I couldn't figure out how to segue through each and every single topic. I'd end up rambling for too long, kind of like I, how I am now, but you know what? It's Screw you guys, I'm keeping this up. <laughs> no, but really, um, thank you guys so much for watching. It really means a lot, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. So with that, stab me. I believe in you. No, you can't just stare. Stab, stab, just, just please. Thank you, bye.